That's fine. Okay, thanks. It's okay. fine. Huh? Okay, all good. Uh, I okay. see uh, last uh, uh, slide of last conference, but I know what is the uh, our slide. Okay, so uh, I will start now. Okay. Okay, you can start. <clears throat> okay, okay. So, hi everybody. Uh, hi, hi. Uh, we are a bunch of uh, Italian guys, so <laughs> forgive us for our accents. Uh, first of all. Then we will go ahead and we'll speak about our little repository for OpenSUSE, which is Gigosto. Uh, it is a repository which uh, contains a whole lot of programs to make music. So I hope someone who's listening to this will enjoy. Uh, okay, okay, Ivo, you can go to the next slide. Okay, so this is our agenda for today. Uh, we will touch a bit of everything. Uh, I hope so. Um, nah, you can go ahead, Ivo. Thanks. Okay, so this is us. I don't want to bore you with details about our lives, but uh, I suppose it's important to say that ours is a pure community project. So. We actually uh, met on the web and we we've been working for over a year uh, on uh, OBS together. So uh, our founder is Job <coughs> He's a really good guitarist, much better than I am. And uh, he also has some good skills with uh, mixing and mastering. Then there is Ivo, who's here, and uh, he will be showing us a demo at the end of this talk. Then there is myself. I'm more of a Libre software advocate or developer. I like Ruby a lot. And uh, then there is Konstantin. I'm, I don't know if he's hearing this because he's from Russia and uh, it's pretty late around there. So I hope that he'll be listening and uh, he's done a lot of stuff for us, uh, especially in regard to Juice. I think some of you may, might have heard of Juice, uh, but uh, you know, it's not the, the thing that you drink uh, when you're thirsty, but uh, it's a framework which is used by a lot of plugins for making music. So, uh, no, it's J U C E. Okay, but okay, you can go ahead, Divo. Okay, so uh, let's take a step back, okay? Why use GNU Linux for music making? Well, I think there are three big advantages. Uh, and the four freedoms uh, is certainly one of them. I mean, who doesn't like freedom? Uh, I think it's not something that uh, only people from the US like. Everyone likes freedom here. Uh, I guess so, yes? Well, and uh, in the context of software, it's clear that uh, free software is becoming more and more important uh, and uh, audio is a field in which uh, it is starting to shine. Uh, in the last few years there, there have been interesting uh, changes in this field. So aside from this, there is also the budget thing. Uh, you know, um, I don't like the free as in beer uh, kind of stuff because uh, free software developers need to it too and uh, they need to be funded in some way so if you can donate but uh, if you can't uh, hey, this is there are a lot of great, great software uh, released under <coughs> free licenses so you can uh, use them uh, at zero cost however if you feel <laughs> feel free to donate and uh, what about the latencies well i think this is a huge problem when it comes to audio and uh, uh, with the GNU Linux, it's really simple to get uh, low latency stuff going because of uh, Jack. I think um, many of you have already used it. And uh, in the future, also, Pipewire is going to be a game changer. Now, uh, I'm going to be <laughs> uh, honest, and there are some disadvantages, uh, but they are, can be attributed to third parties. Uh, and they are, well, the usual problems. Many vendors don't really care about GNU Linux. And this <coughs> is true mostly about when speaking about 
uh, things which have DRM or uh, hardware, which can be pretty costly, but uh, doesn't have the right drivers. So I guess you have to be really careful about the stuff you buy. Next, Ivo. Okay, so why use OpenSUSE for music making? Well, uh, it's pretty stable for starters. We use Leap uh, as a main, as our main uh, distro, but Tumbleweed is also pretty good and it's user friendly. It works out of the box and uh, both with Plasma and GNOME, it's really easy to use uh, even for people who are, uh, aren't used to GNU Linux. And also Yast makes it really simple to configure everything you, if you are not a lead actor. Then there is the OBS, which is the OpenSUSE build service. Uh, this I think is my favorite thing because, you know, if you have not heard of it by now, I think you are in the wrong conference, but uh, it's like uh, GitHub for packages. So basically there are a bunch of repos repositories in which you can uh, upload the source codes and um, the directives needed to build them. And uh, after you do that, people can easily add those repositories, uh, such as ours, and uh, just install packages easily from uh, Yast or Zipper. Go ahead, Divo. Now, uh, why use Gigos, though? Well, uh, for starters, Gigosto is certainly inspired by previous projects and uh, like Heavy Linux. And uh, we try what we uh, do differently from others is certainly our uh, attention to the OpenSUSE ecosystem uh, and also patterns uh, is something which I we hope uh, will make the experience much more user friendly because uh, you know for example if you make <laughs> chiptune music uh, chiptune is the, the video game kind of music stuff you can uh, just install the pattern for chiptune software and uh, everything you need will be delivered by to your system automatically so I guess that's a pretty nice user experience. And uh, we focus on the musician rather than the coder. So, okay, uh, everyone can, can contribute. And this is a very important thing. Uh, actually, we don't do our, all of the work ourselves. We have to thank a lot the existing OBS uh, community and also all the developers who make the stuff for us. Okay. Uh, you, uh, Okay, this is a, a selection of software, and uh, we hope uh, certainly we couldn't list all packages we have. We have uh, a pretty big amount of packages, but uh, we want to single out uh, a couple of them, which Ivo will be using in his <coughs> demo. Uh, one is Ardour. Ardour is, uh, or Ardour, I think, I guess. <laughs> Uh, is a DAW, or a digital audio workstation, uh, which I uh, recommend to everyone who makes who wants to make music seriously. It's uh, absolutely ready for professional mix music making. Then there is Zinfusion, which is a, a new interface for Zinet SubFX, uh, a synth which does a lot of stuff and everyone knows really. Then there is a lot of software you can see here. Uh, just you know try some of it because uh, i think you will be surprised by the level of quality which is available as free software nowadays okay ivo you can go ahead now we show you uh, a demo of uh, some of our programs well they're not our programs they're programs we distribute but we hope you all enjoy it. And even if you don't enjoy our talk, we, ho we hope uh, you will be curious enough to try it yourself. Okay, enjoy. Um, this is not only a demo, but uh, my personal presentation. Mm. Wow, I have to share. Uh, VLC, uh, you can see VLC. Yes, yes, we can. Hi, everybody. 
My name is Evo Grimaldi, Multimedia Manager for Geekos DAW. I created the graphics for this amazing project. I'm a member of the OpenSUSE board, and I collaborate with the OpenSUSE doc project. I'm a pianist and keyboardist, I make EDM, and sometimes I make live piano session. Now I use not only Geekos DAW for my live piano sessions, but also, as you can see in this video, all the multimedia to make my best with OpenSUSE. Okay, okay. Can you hear me? Okay, thank you, Ivo. I'm going to answer a question by Ancorks. How does Gigosto compare to K KX Studio? Well, uh, yes, apart from being Debian versus OpenSUSE centric, of course, we try to have a lot of new stuff, you know, uh, software which maybe you've never heard of, LV2 plugins, which <coughs> are really cool and maybe deserve more popularity but uh, maybe have been ignored by some distros and not dis disrespect meant for obviously cake studio i don't know they're all repository but what i want to say is that we aren't afraid to try out new stuff and put uh, new plugins into our repos and uh, we hope, uh, you know, you, you can come visit us at the addresses which you can read. And uh, we hope uh, you will enjoy our selection of software. And maybe if you want, you can contribute <laughs> too. I mean, we, we, we really are friendly. Uh, we are not all Italians, <laughs> as you might imagine. We uh, One of our core members is, is Russian and uh, we accept contributions from everyone. I think... Uh, Okay, I, I think I have the time for a last question. How does, how does it incorporate to Fedora Gem or Ubuntu Studio? Well, I don't have experience with Fedora Gem. I know about the Linux Mao repos for Fedora. Um, I do know Ubuntu Studio. I, I'm not a big fan of Ubuntu. So <laughs> I think I'm not the right person to answer that. But I think you uh, will be surprised by using uh, Gigos though that... Uh, uh, we offer some uh, pretty interesting uh, patterns, which maybe uh, is the biggest difference. Okay. Um, for me, uh, a lot of uh, years ago, I used uh, K Arts Studio, and uh, I try tried um, Ubuntu Studio, and I see um, a lot of uh, duplicate programs. Uh, and uh, a lot of uh, unstable programs. And uh, we um, want to have only um, programs not unstable, and uh, we want to um, search the programs, uh, one program for record uh, music. Uh, okay, we use, um, we use Audacity. Yes, only Audacity, not a lot of other programs that makes something similar Audacity, because uh, we want to um, mix makes all easy. Um, users have to use Audacity, and uh, when have a, a problem, is Audacity for recording music, uh, live music, for example. And for uh, us, it's much simple to. Um, explain uh, what is the program for um, do something. Okay, time is up. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed, despite <laughs> the fact that we aren't exactly public speakers. Uh, see you. Actually, there is a break now, so I guess we are not that much in a hurry if there's people interested in, 
Yeah, this is an alternative for what? If it's not against the rules, I guess uh, you can ask some questions, but I don't want to take anybody's time right now. So uh, I, I don't Better, know. Uh, 30 times to break. We, we have uh, a time to break. So if something, some uh, users have a question, we can uh, um, speak. So we can uh, uh, question and answer. It's not a problem. Well, or if you, want to, or if you want to have a little, little, little demo, demo, live demo, I can try to use software. Um, in our mind, we want to say, and uh, um, you have to see, it's not uh, um, fake. We are, uh, 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 what we do is real. You can uh, see um, what I open, what I configure, what I um, play with a little keyboard, if you want. Well, I actually just wanted to point something because, yeah, uh, in for me, that's the first time I, I heard about Gecko DAO. But it's a, uh, um, I, I, I know that some people has, has well, I, I myself mentioned X Studio and then this Fedora Young Ubuntu Studio. And there is also AV Linux, which is also. Um, yes, I know AV Linux. Is for uh, video and audio. Yes, yes, it has great documentation. It's actually a big inspiration to me personally. But something I like, especially about Geeko DAO, and also I believe that KX Studio does very well, is that you are basically providing a repository on top of a distro. Why AV Linux is basically an ISO that you get as it is. So it's 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 uh, yes. like installing any. The, the the operating system of, of that other guy in your computer and that's it. While the way you are following, which is the same way that KX Studio is following, which is providing a repository on top of, I believe it, it, it is much better approach. So I'm happy that I found Nico that I will likely try it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for smart observation. Yes. That is actually the way that we began working from the. Okay, okay, you was playing some stuff, so yeah, I no, shut up. It's only uh, no, it's only a test. Uh, go, go, okay, go. Okay. What was speaking? Okay. So I just wanted to add that yes, I too believe, and I think it's the philosophy of everyone who works on the project that uh, the desktop and uh, everything else, the music stuff, must be separated. You know, you know, you can't have. Uh, things messing up <laughs> other programs maybe unrelated the one to another just because you you're using some software to make music so we try to avoid overlapping libraries and all this kind of stuff and for us is important uh, for example uh, i'm a multimedia and i try new programs or i try new pack packaging and sometimes i have a problem. I talk about uh, other users and uh, um, know, oh, it's a bug, oh, or it's a way to use wrong, um, wrong use this program. For us, it's important because we want to have a friendly um, uh, way to make music. And we testing our uh, programs, uh, our uh, way to use uh, or, um, programs to make music because uh, um, we would like to have a lot of uh, users that use uh, our um, distro and our uh, repository and we'll be happy to um, suggest a way to make music way tested we uh, have tested this way to make uh, correctly music because uh, it's not uh, important only um, put a lot of uh, programs and uh, um, not have uh, um, a way to use or suggest something. 
because um, we believe in uh, what we do. So we strings, string pad. For example, if I open Audacity, mm, uh, wow, Audacity, you can see Audacity, uh, I can um, uh, re recording uh, uh, my live session. Listen, my okay. I can um, catch uh, first uh, part of uh, music is um, a test for uh, see if I real recording uh, effects normalize. Normalize will be a function that uh, increase uh, volume. At, uh, but not uh, a lot um, increase uh, near uh, zero dB. Okay, and I can uh, export uh, audio. Uh, in uh, FLAC format, uh, if, if for me it's the uh, best format because it's a similar wave format, uh, but um, have a lot, a bit, um, um, it's not a compressed format, it's not a, a similar MP3. Uh, which uh, is a uh, um, lossly, uh, lossless uh, format demo. Okay, um, we can put uh, inside uh, metadata artist, uh, uh, track, uh, album, uh, years, uh, and others. Okay. And uh, we can uh, listen. Okay, this is uh, the file. The file. Okay. Okay. Nice, Ivo. Ah, I just okay. wanted to say, okay, okay, can I say a thing, Ivo? Um, yes. I think that what you, uh, you've shown, obviously, Audacity, which I think many people here already know, okay? But uh, we have a lot of more advanced software to make music, such, are, such as Ardor. Then there is Qtraker, which is more suited for MIDI stuff. Then there is uh, Muse, which is also well suited for MIDI stuff. And also, uh, it has a notation mode, and it, it's different from uh, Musecore. Okay. okay. Yes. Yes. And there is 
then there is the LMMS, which is very good for beat making. If, so if you make beats uh, like trip hop and that kind of stuff, it's really good. And then there is obviously the rhythm, which is an up and coming new DAW uh, with an advanced sequencer with the great automation and support for guile scheme. So I guess that's uh, you know one of the directions which we are adding toward uh, in the future. And uh, Gigosto is fully. Uh, recognizing the potential of uh, the the rhythm so we hope in the future it will become uh, one uh, of our top dose okay uh, i'm open uh, ardour and i add uh, calf fluid synth is um, similar uh, q synth and i insert uh, sem piano sample the same piano sample uh, we, i've opened in q synth and now i uh, used uh, midi i have to connect ardour You can hear something. Yes. Uh, is similar. Uh, difference is uh, um, MIDI file. I can uh, arm MIDI. Yes, I'm ready to uh, make a recording in uh, uh, MIDI format. I can arm all uh, Ardour. I can. Uh, Play and recording. Okay, stop. Uh, this is a uh, MIDI notation and uh, we can uh, mm, listen okay we can um, see uh, piano roll and uh, select single note and uh, change uh, change the single note it's uh, different in the um, major difference um, with recording a simple audio midi is a signal I send to uh, ardour uh, from uh, midi keyboard I can uh, change uh, the first uh, note. It, it's uh, different. It's not the real note I play. Uh, no, it I... does. What? Uh, it was a joke. <laughs> Since yes, yes. Was... I okay. can uh, uh, play not very well and change my note. And uh, wow, you play uh, very well. Yes, with the MIDI it's possible. <laughs> with the recording audio it's not possible because audio is difficult to change a single note in MIDI audio. It's a, a different so, way yeah. to play something. So if you are really bad at playing an instrument with a MIDI output, you can sound great. <laughs> now, <laughs> that's really good news, I guess, for some of our listeners, right? Mm. Uh, exit. Uh, 
don't save, uh, don't save, um, good music, I would like to play something little, little, little in uh, live. I prefer live, I like a lot uh, live session. Uh, Ivo, can you use uh, Surge, do you think? Surge in live? Yes. Mm, uh, I... Inside... Uh, yes, inside our door, yes. Inside our oh, door, or yeah. inside the Carla. Okay, I, or inside uh, Carla. Ah, okay, okay. So I have some time to explain what Carla is. Carla is a program which used to host plugins okay such as lv2 plugins but also uh, uh vst plugins so uh, there there are some people who used it for windows vsts i i think it supports them via wine so it's a program which can be used for live playing for example or uh, for uh, using plugins uh, where lv2 is not supported for example lms right now not lv2 but in the future it will and uh, Carla allows using uh, LV2 from within LMMS. Sur surge system oh, for MIDI, uh, surge system for listen, surge uh, source for uh, listen in web, um, if all, surge I have to open, Surge. Looks I'm, great, doesn't it? Uh, I'm trying to play, but I... Okay, no problem. The... No, oh, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Mm, now this is to... fine. Just pick a preset. Pick a nice preset. Preset uh, keys. <laughs> um leads yeah, leads um okay dual Since I have a sheet of papers where I um, wrote some presets, uh, brass, brass, uh, J. U plus JX. Drum, 
，新东升。Splits, flute splits. Synthetized them. Uh, yes, we can uh, not only use preset, but uh, um, change uh, one preset. In my way to use the software, I uh, listen all preset. When I um, found a pre similar preset, I try to change. Uh, Ivo, okay, Ivo, I was speaking about cowbells. I think it was <laughs> in regards to cowbells, which are, you know, an important instrument, as m most of you know, because of uh, rock songs from the 70s. And uh, I guess, yes, there are many cowbells. You can use sound fonts for them, or you can synthesize them. You can use John Kick. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know about the meme, but uh, that's seriously a great instrument you know <laughs> okay i don't use but um, because i'm trying to use uh, and search some fonts for uh, uh, qsynth mm, i love qsynth so if my way to play um, uh, live uh, with the qsynth and uh, mm, a lot of other programs all in one Okay, I think we need to close because uh, it's almost five minutes to, to right? close. Five minutes. Okay, I okay. would your like time. to make a little uh, gift for uh, all of us. Little, little, little. Q synth two. Wow. Q synth two. It's okay. Alsa. Q sint one, Q sint two. Eh? Oh, oh, okay. This copyright warning. Hmm. Bo, I don't know, but uh, it, it's a uh, my. Uh, it's good. It's a um, the the infusion. It's not recording this um, time. I think. It's a uh, um, coffee break time for me. Okay, midi. Wow, um, Vinad. Yes, and yes. Vinad. Yes, and yes. Also, um, Vinad system. Ok. Ok. Yes, ok.
it's all for, uh, for me now. If you want to find uh, um, Geekos, though, you can uh, use uh, um, Telegram and you can um, find uh, um, Geekos, though, uh, group. Uh, you are all welcome. You are all welcome. Thank you for listening. I'm stop uh, sharing uh, desktop. Okay, goodbye. Goodbye, uh, everyone. Bye bye.